It's crazy because for the first time ever on one of our trips, there's more things that we cannot talk about publicly than the things we can talk about. Time to clock in. Right, so you miss it. <laughs> so you can't have him in. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing to watch. All right, welcome back to the Night Shift, ladies and gentlemen. You're working late, and so are we. It's time to clock in. If you saw the end of last week's video, I signed off just five steps back that way. We're picking up right where we left off on the streets of Madrid. We're about to get a flight to Ibiza uh, and then go to Dubai. So it's going to be an action packed episode. Logan is starting the day surrounded by beautiful women. He's on the camera. I want to feel it. Why does he look so confused? We haven't slept in days. Logan, how are you feeling? Not. Not. Just not. Now he got rushed by Ian Dior and his basketball player friend. When I say Ian Dior and his basketball player friend, he laughs and points the camera at me. Doesn't even show the I fucking suck. joke at all. This is Shut the up. It's already, I already had it. 116 degrees out here. We haven't slept in days. Now we're going to the party capital of Spain in Ibiza. We don't fuck with sunglasses. It's something about Exotica. The Monopoly. The Monopoly man himself. <sighs> Is okay. this plane big enough to get us to Ibiza? It's definitely big enough to get all six of you to Ibiza, I promise you. Are you sure? Because you came in moments ago and you're like, the plane's not big enough to get you on your ride. No, no, no. That's gonna be, it's bumpy out of here. Then it's gonna smooth one. Holy shit. So we're gonna have turbulence? Always turbulence in the uh, Madrid. That's the way it is. <laughs> Logan pissed off our host, the guy that put us on the G450 last time. He like peed on the floor or something at the house. And now we're on this. No, I did. We're on a propeller, <laughs> we're on a propeller plane. We had another person from the other team and he was supposed to fly with us and the captain just came out and said he couldn't fly with us so we just had to just leave him. And Tavs wants to argue with the captain and say we should jam an extra weight. Onto no the plane. chance, fam. That's oh it. no, please. No. No, not like this. I purposely don't fly these things, bro. No. And now a word from our sponsors. There's nothing quite like summer. Me and my best friend here, quiet days down by the lake. It really is the most peaceful and serene time of year. It's almost like life just slows down a little bit. One thing that's not so slow is you in the bedroom. You see one set of cans and you explode like a volcano off the coast of Hawaii. Ah, <sighs> but one thing that will slow you down is Roman swipes. You just take it out of the package, you wipe it on your unit, you let it dry and you're good to go. No more awkward conversation, no more two pump chump. And the best thing is you don't need a prescription for swipes and Roman will ship them to your door in unmarked packaging. So if you're looking to slow things down in the bedroom a little bit, go to getroman.com forward slash Mike to get $10 off your first order of swipes and free two day shipping. And let's get back to the night shift, baby. You don't think it's too small? No. I landed it down in Africa on the gravel airport out in the jungle. I landed in the deep row. You landed this in a gravel airport? How are we supposed to get the Incredible Hulk on the plane? If I can go in, he can go in. Go on, no get chance. This. Oh my no god, he's here! But what the fuck? Hey, this is all a test of your mental fortitude. Oh, I'm fine with turbulence. Yeah, I man. know you're not. I hate <laughs> turbulence. Well, I'm gonna tell you something. If it goes down, the seatbelt's not doing shit. <laughs> We're literally just a, a, a floating toboggan at this point. A modified sled. <laughs> like, they took a bobsled from the Trinidad and Tobago team and threw some wings <laughs> on. Cool runnings! Why are you still wearing a mask and why do you have one rubber glove on? <laughs> You've been drinking and doing drugs for too long. I've landed this in the Congo on a gravel pavement. <laughs> this is so ridiculous. What the fuck was that? What was that? Sounds like a flat. Hey man, I think you got a flat. Oh, he's going up. Oh, he's, go he's going for it. We're off the ground. Oh! Oh! oh. oh. I have flown this exact plane directly into a large group of trees <laughs> in the Congo. <laughs> no damage. I've flown this exact plane into a live volcano. Oh. Sir, I know what you're thinking. Did I fly this exact plane through a herd of missiles launched by the Russians? Whoa! Look at that fucking scenery, bro. Hold your dicks, boys. We're coming in hot. Dude, don't touch me, bro. Oh. 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 Just like the Congo, baby. Hey, look at this pequeño. Pero pequeño. No trouble. I'm sorry. Okay. Buenos, buenos dias. Day 497 of the European adventure. We're going out for a boat day today. Logan's leading the pack up there. He is melting down. He's a shell of a human. Logan. Logan, oh, come here, mate. Mate, how you feeling? Not great, Mike. What seems to be the problem, mate? <laughs> Fuck, I'm pixelizing. <laughs> He's pixelizing. Take a picture with you, man. Absolutely fucking not. I'm just kidding. He, said, he goes, all right, he goes, all right, don't worry. I'm de-atomizing. 
What do you, what do you mean? Nah, what do I mean? don't worry about it. His, <laughs> okay. his atoms are, are diffusing. He's breaking uh, into a million little pieces. Rough night, last night? Well, rough year. <laughs> Logan, can you be that guy from TikTok for a second that doesn't go on uh, camping trips well? Fuck, it went 30 minutes! <laughs> <laughs> I can't take it one second longer! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. Why are you setting up for some sort of work day, Oscar? Bro, because it's fucking Tuesday. What day did you say? It's fucking Tuesday, man. You're not working, he's working. I'm working late. Let's take a tour of the boat. I've not yet seen it. The first thing I'll show you is the master bedroom. What the fuck? Logan, we just got on the boat. Why are you already sleeping? <laughs> oh, nice. This is a little bunk for uh, production assistants. This is where a lot of high-end fucking goes down in Ibiza. You get on the boat, you meet a girl you like, all of a sudden things get hot and heavy in a local stateroom. I don't think there's gonna be any girls on the boat today, and that's by design. Why? I love hanging out with my friends. At the end, we go to a restaurant, maybe we find a couple girls, but for the most part, I just like having laughs, fun with my friends. I've been looking all over for you. How you doing? Taking a nap. But he's taking a nap, you're taking a nap, and what am I gonna do? Alex, Forman Formantera. Yeah, this is beautiful. About 35 minutes off the coast of Ibiza. Beautiful water. Different blue than I've ever seen in my entire life. Guys, I'm gonna be honest with you. This is the moment for me. I know we got Kevin. I've been teasing Kevin the whole week. He came up too quick. He didn't have to suffer through 2018, all that post you know, bullshit stuff. He didn't have to suffer through the come up. He just got out here right when the yacht shit started. And this is it, guys, I'm telling you, like the yacht off the coast of Spain, this is the moment, eating the prosciutto, hanging out with the big dogs. And you guys know where I came from, so hopefully it inspires you guys, makes you guys know that you can have it too if you just keep pushing. Logan woke up, 3.45 p.m., straight on the sea, Bob. Give him a dive, Logan. Like, we used to be hot. How do we turn into fucking blimps? You are, we're both fat. We're fat <laughs> idiots. So fat. You've been going for weeks, bro. You fucking kill. I need fucking Jesus, bro. And I think he's at the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> Go see him. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you guys. The entire YouTube fight, career fight, that I've had, fight, I've never done fight, any stupid fight, shit. Fight. Fight. Logan Fight. told me to give me 500 bucks if I did a front flip. You guys know I'm the most unathletic person in the entire world. They're chanting for me. This has to be the slowest rotation ever if I open. Mike, it's 500 bucks. <laughs> it's a lot of crack. <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> Wait, go all the other way a little bit. <laughs> Oh my god! What the fuck? Bro, oh, I hit my nuts! I hit my nuts so hard! Logan, what'd you think of that? That was super cool and hot. Okay, listen, you know that thing on the internet right now that's like, but at what cost? I landed the front flip, but I landed directly on my testicles, and I can't feel my nuts now. At what fucking So at what fucking cost, Logan Paul? It was worth it, Mike. I, I had a testicle injury once for content. So worth it. Wow, that was fun. Swimming and nice boats. Well, guess what? Now we're at the Barcelona International Airport. Once again, Logan angered the uh, person we created the beautiful relationship with. He took away our private jet. We're flying commercial. Logan is having a full-on meltdown slash stroke. Jokes aside, Mike. I'm in the worst shape of my life. I've never felt worse ever. This is bad. I'm really, really trying to rally right now and get my shit together. I cannot bear the pain I'm of feeling existing, any longer. Of even existing. It's, it's horrifying. But still, no matter how tired he gets, every single good-looking Spanish girl that walks by, he says, hola, como estas? <laughs> <laughs> so, like, it doesn't really fucking matter how it's tired so he gets. It's so true, bro. They bring me back to life. Hey, hola, right. como estas? Yeah, so we are currently at the uh, Dubai Customs. Got it. Got it. Cool. He said, he said we should go. He okay. said it too. You got two ways to look at this. Number one, that is... It, it, shit, here he is again. Hold on one second. That fucking sucks.
That fucking sucks. Today's the last day of the trip. Final day, grand finale. I was supposed to go to Rolling Loud after, I'm not doing it, I'm going back to LA. There's all kinds of issues galore on the other side of the planet. All I wanna do is make fun content, eat cheeseburgers, travel, make stuff for you guys to watch, but there's always some fucking Karen talking shit on the internet, starting trouble that I gotta go home and fix. So a couple things on the agenda today. We are going right now to the W at the Palms to meet up with this German guy, Mark Jabauer. I don't even know how to say his last name. He somehow got in touch with me. He said, are you gonna be in Dubai? I'm gonna bring like $20 million in watches. I also brought David, obviously he's shooting, but he's gonna translate because the guy is German. He has one of those funny mustaches and he wears like all these like crazy plaid outfits. Welcome, how are you? Good to meet you. Buddy. Yeah, good yes, to meet you. Hi. Tom. <laughs> and this is David. Aus Deutschland, richtig? Yeah. Düsseldorf or? Hamburg. Hamburg. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah. I brought him as a negotiator <laughs> for today. <laughs> So if things go sideways and I need to start having him speak German, he can do that. Do you like own this place today? Uh, actually, this is not mine, but not not by now, but oh, normally it's closed. We're just here open for you now. Amazing. If you ever want to have a business meeting with me for any reason, it doesn't happen in a room like this. I'm not signing. So here we have a little bit of AP. This one is the most sought after at oh the moment. God. This is the skeleton full ceramic one. This one cannot diamonds, scratch. Yeah. You know? What is the price currently on this one? $450,000. Here we have. Oh <laughs> my God. It's got a wrong crown. Oh, so the these are the most sought after watches. Uh, we have everything from the uh, brand new 5990 with the blue dial up to the new reference uh, from RM. And all these watches, I mean, impossible to find. What out. if we buy both of them? Oh, we can figure something out, no problem. Because he owes me some money, so maybe you can do a double oh. transaction. I do. I owe him about, about 20000 so, I'm not going to so lie. So the book worked out for you, I think. Yeah, yeah, not that well. Not that well. This is the tallest atrium in the entire world. The beautiful Burj Al Arab here in Dubai. Supposedly one of the world's only set, no, the world's only seven star hotel, it was called. But in reality, that's not even true. It was just a journalist that said that. There's nothing above the five star classification. It doesn't matter what people tell you. It is a very nice hotel. So we're just at the bottom of the atrium. Now we're about halfway up. There's still a little bit more at the top, but look over the side, David. Show them, show them. Oh my God, it's so far down, bro. How'd you drop the camera and it landed on a small child? Here's the room. I'm gonna show you guys this really quick. We gotta get ready. We're going on jet skis again for the 12th time in the past month. Yeah, so here's all the stuff. Giant room, huge, crazy view of like Dubai in the background right over the water. Food wise, I mean, as of right now, we got leftover chicken tenders. This is from about 3 a.m. last night. Uh, those are delicious though. A large staircase lined with blue and gold rugs that leads you up to a giant hallway. Shower, a toilet, of course, out here in Asia and Europe, they've got the bidet in case you wanna wash out your butthole, something David has to do all the time. And then the master suite. Let's do a cinematic transition where you show the jet skis and then the next time it picks up, we're on one. Go ahead. I don't know what he said. I said at what point have we been living off the fat of the land for too long? Did you say we've been eating too much lamb? Sick! At what point have we been living off the fat of the land too long? You want a battle for me? Alright, listen, fuck this shit, guys. This is the last day of the trip. The sun's setting over Dubai. I don't really know if there's anything left to say. You've seen us in Europe. You've seen us in Asia. Logan's going back to Puerto Rico. Todd's going to Rolling Loud. And I'm going back to LA to fix my fucking life. That's it for today's episode of The Night Shift. Sorry. Fucking out, pig. I once landed this flying tinfoil tobacco <laughs> onto a trip and hit <laughs> That's not even the worst part. <laughs> <laughs>